Uh, uh, um. Oh, I just almost exited the game. Oh, really? I pick random and this is what I get? No, I, whenever I'm recording, the game keeps breaking. Like it didn't crash line. Oh, I know why. This might be a whole video. Neat. No contest. Crap. Alright, change the setting. Well, this doesn't seem to be working. Um, see you next time on uh, the next video. Um, hopefully this will work next time. Uh, go check out my other videos, like, subscribe, um, <laughs> see ya. Um, Super Smash Smash is back. You remember us, right? The original Smash Bros. fan game. The most popular for content and difficulty. Rather than gameplay, Super Smash Flash was, well, Super Smash in a Flash. It showed a very, it showed very few similarities to the actual Smash Bros. game in the gameplay as it was our first game. Yet, it still has, it still somehow attracted a large crowd of people. Now, with the knowledge we've picked up along the way, we're, we're striving for the utmost quality this time around. Super Smash Flash 2 is not a game made by one person in a month. This, like Super Smash Flash 1, Super Smash Flash 2 is made by hundreds of people. Hundreds over seven Hundreds of people over seven years. It is one of the biggest Smash, biggest Smash Bros. fan games. No one, one of the biggest, no. One of the biggest flash games to date, we promise. Is it one of is it actually made in flash? It is one of the more major projects goals that we have done here on Smith. That flash is underestimated and underappreciated. It it we can make a console quality game with controller support, online mode, and ten years of custom art. So that so you can so can you. No other programmer, no other programming interface would allow us the kind of convenience with the workflow that we have with Super Smash Flash 2. Without custom tools, Flash is incredible for playing video games and animations with a low barrier to the entry of an incredibly simple interface. Yeah, I was always wondering, like, why are they gonna 